so today's topic is acids and bases acids and bases so what is acid and what is base acid is defined as chemical that gives h plus ions in the water and forms salts by combining with certain metals and base is defined as a substance that can accept h plus ions in the water and can neutralize an acid so you have to remember here acid means gives h plus ions gives h plus ions and base means accepts h plus ions you have to remember the simple base means accepts h plus ions acid means gives h plus ions right so generally acids are having so taste so taste and bases are having bitter taste bitter taste so how we detect the substances acid or base how we detect so indicators we have to use indicators we have to use to detect the the substance is acid or base so in indicators generally we are using indicators so generally in laboratories in studies and in colleges also generally indicators are used to detect the the substance is acid or base in indicators generally we are using litmus and methyl orange and phenolphthalein litmus methyl orange and phenolphthalein in litmus is natural indicator it is very natural indicator and this two is synthetic 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 indicators so methyl orange and phenolphthalein is synthetic that means man made it is prepared in the laboratories these two are synthetic indicators and litmus is natural indicator it is observed from from the tree uh, that means a lichen plant it is extracted from lichen plant so it is natural indicators so litmus is actually purple dye that means it is in purple color so how we detect the substance is acid or base when the litmus paper turns blue to red blue to red then the substance is acid blue to red when the litmus paper turns red to blue red to blue then the substance is base the substance is base the litmus paper is dipped into the substance then blue to red happened then the substance is acid and red to blue happened then the substance is base this is the way we detect the the substance is acid or base in laboratories generally litmus paper is used why because it is natural indicator methyl orange is also used in the colleges practicals so many but it is a synthetic indicator that means man made and it is prepared in the laboratories right so in acids hcl h2so4 that means hydrochloride and sulfuric acid and acetic acid and nitric acid these are the acids right and in bases sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide so many bases also there so all these acids sulfuric acid is king of acids it is also called as king of acids why because sulfuric acid is very very strong acid among all them right in bases 
sodium hydroxide is king of base king of bases why because it is very strong base it is very strong base and it is very strong acid it is a one of the question asked in competitive exams so you have to remember so sulfuric acid is also called as king of acids and sodium hydroxide is king of base right what products are formed when we add acid and base mixing of acid and base salt and water are formed salt and water are formed these are the products these are the reactants right when we add acid and base in a container so salt is formed and also water is formed right so metal oxides i have already told you in my last video metal oxides are basic in nature right basic in nature so metal oxides are basic in nature metal oxides means metal means sodium for example i am saying the sodium oxide oxide means oxygen right so when metal oxide means sodium oxide is reacts with so in sodium hydroxide what character is there basic character why because metal oxides are basic in nature right so i have i have already told you in my last video you have to check it once so these oxides are basic in nature right so we have to add acid here why because it is also base right we have to add acid here to form salt and water right you have to remember here metal oxides are basic in nature and non metal oxides are non metal oxides acidic in nature right acidic in nature so we have to add base here we have to add base here to form salt and water salt and water generally when we mix acid and base the products are salt and water so here metal oxides are basic in nature that's why we have to add acid here to form the salt and water and non metal oxides are acidic in nature acidic in nature so we have to add base here so to form the salt and water non metal oxides means no for example nitrogen is non metal right so right non metal oxides oxide means oxygen so no i have already told you in the definition acids are always gives h plus ions right so hcl hydrochloric acid is gives h plus ions and cl minus ions whereas coming to the acetic acid ch3 coh gives rise to ch3coo minus and h plus ions right so acids are always gives h plus ions nitric acid h plus and no3 minus right so in acids h plus ions or h plus cations are always formed right so this h plus ion always form in the acids whereas coming to the bases sodium hydroxide right so in sodium hydroxide what happened always forms oh minus always forms oh minus ions magnesium hydroxide you have to remember in acids h plus ions are formed and in bases oh minus ions are formed so what happened when water is added to the acids what happened what products are formed here generally in the laboratory we are using in we are using acids right in practicals generally we are using acids in so many preparation of compounds we are using acids so 
but it is not concentrated acid because concentrated acid is very very difficult to handle it is very harmful it is very very toxic right so that's why we are using diluted acid we are using daily diluted acid like h2so4 diluted so how it is prepared diluted h2so4 how we will prepare so take one beaker and here water is there so pour some water in the beaker always we have to add acid first always acid is added to the water not water is added to the acid always we have to add acid to the water why because when we add water to the acid it is very very toxic and we, we, it becomes very difficult why because sometimes fire also occurs sometimes fire also occurs that's why always this is not correct so always acid is added to the water not water is added to the acid so we have to add acid to the water with constant stirring with constant stirring constant stirring right so it is exothermic reaction it is exothermic that means the beaker is heated the beaker becomes heat produce heat it is exothermic it is exothermic when we add acid to the water with constant stirring then diluted h2so4 is formed diluted why because water is there water in so much percentage that's why diluted h2so4 in laboratories in so many companies also diluted h2so4 is used but in in homes generally in inverters also concentrated h2so4 is used concentrated but fully concentrated not not fully concentrated but concentrated h2so4 is used in the inverters in our homes generally but in laboratories we are using diluted h2so4 so as it is added to the water with constant stirring this is the way we are preparing diluted h2so4 right so when we add water to the acid to form generally what products are formed generally what products are formed in this reactions acid always for example acid i am taking hcl right so h plus and cl minus right when we add h plus h plus ions are not exist alone does not exist alone h plus ions or does not exist alone that's why it combines with water molecules to form h3o plus hydronium ion right hydronium ion is formed here when we add acid to the water hydronium ion is formed whereas coming to the base whereas coming to the base when we add base to the water what products are formed here NaOH Na plus and OH minus in bases OH minus ions are produced here in bases OH minus ions bases are always produce OH minus when hydroxide ions are produced acids are always produce h plus ions so but all bases don't soluble in water all bases all bases does not soluble in water soluble in water only some bases are soluble in water not all bases 
if h plus ions concentration is high concentration high then it is a strong acid strong acid like h2so4 right if oh my oh minus ions concentration is high then it is a strong base then it is a strong base like sodium hydroxide like sodium hydroxide h plus ions concentration is high it is strong acid and oh minus ions concentration is high it is a strong base you have to remember these two points these two points are very important in competitive exams generally in our bodies also in our human bodies acids are produced right it is very strong acid these acids are used to digest the food, digest the food that we are eating right so the ph of acid in our body is 1 to between 1 and 2 human body acid levels right so and 2 and 3 is lemon juice lemon juice is also a sticky nature right lemon juice is also a sticky nature the ph level is 2 and 3 in in lemon juice water is neutral right so water is neutral the ph of water is 7 it means neutral not acidic not basic right so milk of magnesia right milk of magnesia is 10 to 14 it is a good base milk of magnesia right so milk of magnesia is good base so that's why we are using sometimes in our body sometimes in our uh, dietary system to reduce the acid levels milk of magnesia is we are using to reduce the acid levels in our body formula for milk of magnesia is mgoh right mgoh and milk of magnesia is used to reduce the acid levels that means to reduce the acidity levels in our body acidity levels in the body so milk of magnesia is called as ant acid and acid and acid so milk of magnesia is very good base that's why it reduces the acidity problems in our bodies thank you for watching